Hey everybody, um, today I thought I would do a follow-up video of my Nike Magista Obras. Um, I've had them for about a month now, played several games in them, several practices. I haven't even worn another shoe, to be honest, since I've got them. So I thought it would be nice to do a follow-up review. Everyone does the initial review, but it's time for a after-use period, if you will, review. So we're going to get right into it. I'll talk about the fit. Uh, if I'm having any problems with them, uh, durability, things like that. So we'll start with, I guess, the um, durability. Durability-wise, these things are great. Um, it's the first Nike shoe that I've seen in a while that's actually held up very, very well. I know there's been some problems with the Hypervenoms. I know many people have had uh, tears with those and, and rips, and they've just given some people, not all, but some people, they've, they've given some problems. But these have been pretty, pretty good after a month of, of good wear. Um, so as you can see, I mean, the front, I mean, some people would argue that, that in there that's starting to come, come apart, but in all honesty, I don't think so. That's pretty good for most, most shoes. Um, it's sealed all the way around, all the way around, even to the heel counter. Um, it works really, really well. The sole plate, there's been no problems with that. It's still stiff, um, compared to some shoes, for example, like my Predators. My Predators have a much softer, um, so it doesn't bend as, as it bends much easier than this one, excuse me. But so it, it's still stiff, but once on your foot, it still moves very, very well. The material softened up, it's very, very soft. Um, it's comfortable. As far as stretch goes, I don't think it's stretched um, that much if, it, you know, compared to other shoes, obviously leather ones are gonna stretch like crazy, but, but these ones haven't stretched much at all. Um, I, I, mean, I suppose there's a little bit um, up here it has, you know, this part where on the ankle the dynamic fit collar stretched a little bit um, but but it still bounces right back to its shape and it's more than tight enough around your ankle you don't need to worry about this stretching to the point where it's permanently like that and you're never gonna have it tight around your ankle um, it's pretty good uh, or I guess for me the only reason I'm, I'm questioning if it's stretched or not is because I have a wide foot so sometimes I still feel a bit of tightness if you will on the outside of the foot um, but it's weird I only feel it on one foot more than the other um, so, so that's far as, as stretches goes, but the materials held up fantastic. The fly knits are incredible. Um, they're comfortable. The, um, uh, the laces, you know, some people said they're very, very thin and they are thin. Don't get me wrong. Compared to some, they're extremely thin, but nothing with those. They, you know, uh, they're all good. I can show you the bottom. I mean, obviously mine are quite dirty, but you know, when you play on turf, that's what's going to happen. There's a sole plate. The studs haven't really worn out at all. Um, maybe a little bit over here and here, but but I, that's not that's not worn out. That's just regular wear and tear that you're going to get from any soccer shoes. They're all still intact, um, and they've been held up very very well. I'm very impressed with them. So so that's the bottom. I'll give you another angle. Maybe you can see it better like that. Um, so that's the bottom of them. Uh, like I said, here's the inside. Uh, so, you know, you have all that. Uh, let's talk about, let's talk about the Dynamic Fit Collar and how they have actually, um, how that fits, how that fits, you know, because I did, I've heard other people complain about a certain problem with the tab, and I have had the same issue. So I, I mentioned it in my other video after two or three wears, but now a month later, you can even see it kind of, you see that shape along the heel there? This right here, where that little indent is, it doesn't, it, you, I mean, you really feel that part. It's basically on the inside of the S on the Magista logo. You really, really feel that tab on your Achilles, and it, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So if there's one thing I would really complain about, if I were to go to Nike myself and say they had to fix something, that's definitely the problem right there. That's the only, only thing I could think of. Uh, maybe for some people, a little extra stretch, a little extra give, depending on the way their foot works, would be nice. But but that's not no big deal. It's really this that's the problem. That tab is 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 killer. It's stretched out a little bit. It's softened up a little bit. But I really thought it would be um, worn in by now. Uh, but it hasn't. It's even given me a couple blisters, um, and I don't get blisters that often. I've only got them from two shoes, from these, and I had a pair of Vapor Fives. Um, in 2009, 2010, and I got a pair of lip blisters from those. They're the only two shoes that have ever given me blisters, and they're both made by Nike. <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, it was only on the right one too, which is weird. I didn't get it on my left foot. I only got it on the right one. So you can see again, there's that shape along the side of it, um, right down there. I only got the blister on this heel, right there. Um, so that's something I think they could fix. Uh, but as far as, like I mentioned, I mean, durability, no, no concerns whatsoever. Um, fit, they're still, con they, they still feel brand new as far as fit goes, you know, but in a better way, because they've, you know, you've worn them in a little bit, so they're a little bit more comfortable, but they're not overstretched to the point where it's like you need a new shoes, a new pair of shoes so quickly, so, so that's all good, um, as far as color, if you will, paint, or, or you know, has anything scuffed off, no, not at all, you just get dirt on them, you know, and that's, <laughs> that's part of the game, so. Uh, that's my follow-up. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I could, you know, mention. Uh, the insole. The insole's probably softened up quite a bit, but, I mean, insoles nowadays are so thin on any soccer shoe that that's not going to uh, really affect you in any way um, because they're just they're just thin, one layer of one thin layer of foam. And, uh, you know, that's just like any other insole. So, overall, I mean, they're, they're a great pair of shoes. I think they've definitely lived up to... The hype they've had, um, I think they are a great purchase if you're someone that likes, you know, flashy pair of shoes. Try something different. Uh, you like the design of this, you want to give it a try if you have not bought them already. Um, I think it's definitely worth a shot to go to. Just be aware that, um, be aware. Sorry that 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 does cause some irritation. Put it that way. Um, hopefully that can be fixed on the next model. Hopefully on this model it softens up. Number one, but. If they were to uh, release a second version of the Magistas, the Magista 2s or whatever, um, hopefully that they, they could fix that. That's the one one issue um, because it, it does it does get annoying um, and, you know, something I'd like to see fixed. But overall, I mean, there's a look of the shoe. I'm one month in as far as wear goes, and these are the only pair of shoes I've worn since I've got them. They've been through games. They've been through several practices a week, a lot of soccer, a lot, a lot of soccer. Um, and they've held up extremely well. So that's my um, follow-up review, I guess, of the Magistas. Talked about the fit, the durability, and the one issue I had with them. Other than that, they've been they've been great. Um, if you are interested in getting a pair for yourselves and you're concerned about sizing, I did talk about sizing in the initial review of this video, so you could watch that. I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch that video about what I think you should go for, um, how you should go about your sizing. Um, so I'll leave a link, like I said, in the description of the initial review, but that's the follow-up. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching it and take care until next time.